Hi! Hi folks! Well, the Korean Kung Fu Woman Mafia has been goose-stepping again, and this time they're goose-stepping across Canada. Specifically, Ontario, Canada. More directly, Ontario University. The university recently announced that they're going to conduct a speech contest. And this speech contest has to do with topics related to the war in the Pacific, the Asian Pacific War of World War II. Now, now to that Pacific theater. Let's look at the poster that they publicized announcing this contest. Rather innocent, isn't it? You see a poster announcing a speech contest. I see a poster that's purely Japan bashing. Now, where do I get that from? Look on the right side, there's an image. This image there is the head of a statue, the Comfort Woman statue, that the Korean Comfort Woman Mafia has been littering the United States with. Gee, that looks like Japan bashing to me. That's right. Just <laughs> so where do I get that from? You want me to take this a little further for you? The PDF file to this contest lists some topics you may want to write your speech about. Let's look at that. See? Look at these topics. Every one of them involves supposed atrocities committed by the Japanese. Because, as we know, there was approximately 22 countries involved in that war, that theater of the war, and only one country committed atrocities. The Japanese. You know they're always committing atrocities. Well, all you have to do is look at their cosplay and their anime, and you see how they're promoting atrocities. <laughs> Listen to me. War in itself is an atrocity. Those 22 countries in themselves committed atrocities. The reason why Japan is single out, because they lost the war. So you know they're all saying history is written by the victors. During the American Civil War, William Tecumseh Sherman, a Union general from the North, he tore up the state of, Al uh, Alabama, of Georgia. It was dubbed Sherman's March to the Sea. He destroyed everything, farms, buildings, railroads. He committed an atrocity. Was he tried for it? Was there a speech contest in reference to it? No, because he was on the winning side. So now we have the university in Ontario, Canada, bashing Japan. Because we all know it was only those Japanese in that war that committed atrocity. The other one, no, nah, no atrocities were committed by them, none whatsoever. None that we care to talk about. That's where it falls into. All right, folks. <laughs> What's, it's, the people in Japan, please understand, this is a topic that's always going to be aimed at you. Ignore it. Laugh at it. Do not allow them to upset you. And I feel sorry for any Japanese students who happen to be unfortunate to be in that university. We'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. God bless the nation you happen to be in. And God bless our good friends and trusted allies in the land of the rising sun, Niankoku, Japan. See ya. <laughs>